How happy were you with him this morning? Uh, I thought it went very well. You know, he, he had a workmate out there and, and uh, they did it, both riders did a great job. It worked out, you know, like we would have hoped it was going to. Um, and I thought our horse, I thought uh, Rocket Can finished well and galloped out well. I thought it was a very nice work. And besides a, oh, sorry, besides a clean trip, what are you looking for in the Derby? A win. <laughs> I mean, that would be good. But uh, I guess to in, in, ensure a win, I mean, you've got, you've got to have a pretty good trip. It's, it's difficult to get a, you know, it's such a competitive race that uh, the trip means a lot. And okay. sometimes you get lucky and sometimes you don't. And you then know, the, it's a big field. The plans for the rest of the week leading up to the Derby, what are your plans with He'll him? He'll have an easy day tomorrow and then we'll get him back and, you know, keep him on a, just a medium exercise program till, till Derby day. You know what I mean? We just hope that, you know, the, you, you stay healthy and in one piece and, uh, till, now until Saturday. <laughs> Are you familiar with how he got his name? Uh, well, I know the first part of the name, Rocket. Mr. Fletcher uh, has had a dog named Rocket. So, and he's had, he's lost his first Rocket. So he's on his third dog named Rocket. And he puts rock, <laughs> Rocket or Rocket in a lot of his horse's names. So if you see one of them, you probably, you know, you probably know it could be his. Love it. Thank you. Good start winning stakes last night with uh, Frank's Yeah, we got we got that one out of the way. It was good. I mean, very nice filly. Um, you know, she I'm so proud of her. She shows up every time, and, and uh, you know, I guess the only time she's never run any good was when we ran her at King. And for some reason, she didn't like it. But I guess both times it was the Breeders' Cup. So, uh, but she's uh, she's doing well. Can you tell from the two works how the blinkers that they're having the intended impact you want them to have on uh, Rocket Can? Visually, for me, it looks like they, they're, they're helping. Uh, uh, we had, you know, we'd worked in before in blinkers and we thought they didn't make uh, an extreme amount of difference. But, you know, if they help you just a little bit, Oh, I did. They, the clockers told me it was 59 and 4 out and 113 and change. I mean, that's, you know, that's racehorse time over this track, I'd say. And, you know, the gallop out was good 7 8 and 26 and change. So I think that's, you know, that, that's a, a, good, a good work and the kind of work you'd want to be coming off of going into a big race. I mean, he shows that he's sharp and able to do it. How's this horse progressed from Florida to Arkansas this winter? It's been good. I mean, his first race in Florida was quite good, you know, when he won the Holy Bull. Um, but he's progressed a lot since last August when we ran him twice in Saratoga and he didn't hit the board. And then, you know, we sent him back here in the fall and he ran twice. And uh, he, he's shown, you know, steady progression. But the, the biggest progression was when we you know, after the first two races in Saratoga and we brought him here and he had a win in the second. And he's been slowly going the right direction. Dale Rowan said on uh, Horse Racing Nation yesterday that he'd been talking to you about, and the way you were talking about this horse and everything, he just thinks that you feel like you have a really live horse. You know, the one thing we all have to prove is that we can get 10 furlongs. I mean, that's always the big question in the Derby, that none of these horses have been that trip, or maybe there's one or two of them, but, uh, there, you know, there's not many prep races at that mile and a quarter distance. So, you know, when, when they turn for home in the Derby, I mean, they, it, it, it really sorts them out. And, uh, you know, we, we hope that this horse has enough stamina to, to get the 10 furlongs. I mean, we think, you know, we, we tend to feel like he, he does. He's got a pedigree that would indicate that he should get the, get the distance. But, you know, you, you never know if they can do it until they do it. But longtime Bill Mott watchers, they'll be in one of them, would say that when you're like in this really good, loose mood, your horse means your horse is doing great and it better be respected. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I appreciate Jocelyn Dale's Meyer opinion. Comes to mind. <laughs> yeah, I appreciate <laughs> Dale's opinion and, and he's got a I think his horse is doing well too the way it looks.
he just has to get in. <coughs> yeah. So, uh, how, how, how deep is he on the first day? He's the first. So, I see him training out here and he looks like he's doing well. Bill, is the lack of pace a concern at all in the Derby? Um, you know, usually as it turns out, there's rarely a, a lack of, total lack of pace. I mean, you know, when, when everybody sees that and they'll try to change tactics and so somebody will go. I, I don't think it's like it was, you know, 15 years ago when you had top sprinters, you had horses like Shecky Green and some of those horses running in in, in the Derby, you know, they were great sprinters as, as two-year-olds and, you know, they people would, were willing to take a chance with those horses. So you don't see those type of horses in the race because they didn't accumulate any points. And the other thing that's missing is the uh, opportunity for fillies to get into the race with the point system the way, that, the way, the way it is. It, you know, it eliminates the most of the fillies from an opportunity because they haven't received the points in the in the boy races. But uh, uh, and, and and having a filly in there, it always made the race interesting. It was you know it was some good talking points and a lot to take into consideration. And there's been a couple of fillies that have won the race, so I, I'm, I'm sad to see that part of it as far as the race goes. And. You know, you, you would like to see some of those fast sprinters in there, but uh, I'm sure it's a good group of horses, and, and uh, as, you know, everybody looks at the form, they'll say, well, if there's not, if, if it doesn't look like there's a lot of pace, you know, just looking at the, at the racing form, I'm sure somebody's going to decide to change their tactics and try to, try to show something earlier. Well, jumping ahead to the Preakness, do you have anything, uh, consideration for the Preakness? Uh, it's kind of one day at a time, so, I, I, no, I have, I have no, I haven't even thought about the Preakness. I mean, we're, we're trying to get through this race and get him there the best we can, and hopefully we're, you know, hopefully we're uh, competitive and, and our horse gets there in good shape, and uh, I've told, you know, Mr. Fletcher, you know, I've been here a few times and, and it's such a tough race and, and a large field, anything can happen, you know, so uh, come and enjoy the race and let, let's have some fun. I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, we all want to win, but it, it's, uh, you know, I think when you have the opportunity to run in this race, I mean, there's only 20 horses out of the whole full crop that get a chance to do it. So, uh, let, you know, just enjoy the fact that we're here. Thank you, Bill. Thank you.